when we use physics to describe the world around us, we're basically trying to express where things are at a given moment and how things are moving at that moment. And we can use numbers to describe both of those features. You know, for instance, if you want to describe a location in a city like Manhattan, you can use numbers. The corner of 112th Street and 3rd Avenue, that's a way of describing a location in terms of numbers. The motion of a taxi cab, 35 miles an hour, use numbers to describe those kinds of properties. And that ultimately is what physics is about, predicting those kinds of numbers. Now framed in that way, it can sound fairly pedestrian or fairly limited. But every thought that you have ever had amounts to particles in your brain moving one way or another with one kind of speed or a different kind of speed. So everything that you think, everything that you do, ultimately has to do with how your particles move. So if we can describe how your particles move, we can describe, in principle, something as complex as you, a human being.